we are going to um, explore completing the square to find the equation of the circle. Completing the square to find the equation of a circle. Now, we're going to use an example in this case. We're going to say x squared plus y squared plus 4x plus 6y minus 10 is equal to 0. So we're going to use the idea of completing a square in order to solve this equation. Now what we want to do is we want to take these two values, x squared plus 4x, and we want to make this into a square binomial that will look like x plus a squared, which will be equal to x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. Now, in these problems we're going to be given these two values the x squared and the 2ax. And if we're dealing with the y's, we're going to be dealing with like y plus b quantity squared, where we get y squared minus 2b, or plus 2b plus a squared. Now, the first step rewrite in the correct form. So I'll take that x squared plus y squared plus 4x plus 6y minus 10 is equal to 0. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 10 to both sides. So I'll get 10 on the right hand side. But now what I want to do is I want to put my x squared plus 4x over here. x squared plus 4x. And I'm going to say it's going to be plus some number. Now, because we want to make sure that our equations are balanced, and in class I've been saying, in chemistry you balance the equation so you don't have your experiment blow up on you. Well, in math we want to balance the equation so we don't have the problem blow up on us, which means getting an incorrect answer at the end. So, if I add this number, whatever it is, and I just put the box right there, I'm going to add whatever number that is over here. Now I'm going to take the y squared and the 6y. So it's going to be plus y squared plus 6y and then plus, I'll put a triangle there since we're in geometry, plus whatever number is going in the triangle. Now, completing the square is going to be done the same way every single time and we don't want to make it any harder than it needs to be. So we're going to take advantage of the middle term here. And up here, this is the one we're going to want to use, 2ax. Now, that 4ax is going to be equal to 2, or not the 4ax, the 4x is equal to 2ax. Now, the first thing we can do is divide by x, and the x is divide out. We're left with 4 is equal to 2 times a. Now, divide by 2 a is equal to 2. I'm going to show you with the y is just a one-step thing that we could do, but I wanted to make sure that you understood where the 2 comes from. Now, for this 2, I'm going to put that first right into one of the, the perfect square binomial. And now, what I'm going to do with this, I say 2, I'm going to take that and square it and get a 4, and that's what's going in the box here. So two things you have to do with this number. The 2 is just going to end up in this perfect square binomial. And